And now, a huge fire has engulfed one of Unimac's major facilities. And last night, the female hostel at Silvana School, Mac Campus, was burnt by an unknown fire incident and property worth millions of leons were destroyed. Our reporter, Augusta Ethel-Tui, visited the site early today. She now reports. University of Makeni has recorded two separate fire incidents that had destroyed major infrastructures of this institution. A few years ago, a proposed TV studio that would have served as a teaching center was reduced to Ibu. Last night, the female hostel at Silvano Skoroma campus was destroyed by another huge fire. Sheba Asamba Kamara is part of the Public Relations Directorate, Unimark. Um, like you earlier stated, at the late hours yesterday, the 15th April 2024, at around 8 p.m., we received disturbing information that um, uh, female hostels at the Silvano Skoma campus has been gutted down by fire. And it was a very devastating news for us as an administration and, of course, the entire university family. So we had to rush up um, at the scene and um, we were able to organize community people. We were able to organize students and staff to ensure that um, we uh, make effort to put out the fire because um, we made efforts when we received the information to contact um, fire force to come and help us put out the fire unfortunately they told us that um, their fire engine is down they couldn't help most occupants of this facility are on holiday the few that we are around shared their ideal present situation is very terrible because right i'm in pain i've lost everything my lunch fees everything clothes documents even my passports everything is gone um, unforeseen circumstance that happened to us really bad it's really shocking because we're still assessing the whole thing we're still in shock in doubt because everything happened so fast and Mary Kapoto Kamara makes one of the hostel explains the effects of this incident I go bye bye I come I will prepare food late around 6 to 7 as you know. so now lights come so the students, they all rush go inside for go charge the phone because the other they will not be getting lights. Now me grab for go take money. I say let me grab because go buy water. As I they claim the step, now here you with the team fire something pull sound up. So at the map, I just see all over the place now in the fire. I just see fire the place. So I try for Allah, the students and let them all come out inside me and come out. Incidents of fire are common in this part of the country, and in most cases, the causes are unknown. But National Fire Force normally sensitizes the public to use standard electrical equipment or materials for electrification, and also admonish residents to switch off electrical devices before leaving their homes. Augusta Ethel Tuye, AYV Primetime News. Now, in a presser issued today, the Electricity Distribution Supply Authority has confirmed that due to several concurrent unfortunate challenges along the energy supply chain in the country, the authority is currently challenged in providing adequate electricity to the Freetown network. In response to this presser, some citizens in Freetown have raised concerns, stating that light is life. Thus, poor electricity in the country will affect their businesses. Our reporter Isa Bangua has more on the story. Energy in Sierra Leone is believed to be largely underserved and the lack of a reliable energy supply impedes development. Electricity transmission and distribution network problems result in losses of around 45% of generated electricity. In line with these challenges, the Electricity Distribution Supply Authority has in a press release issued earlier today stated that the authority will not be able to provide satisfactory electricity in Freetown until the problem is completely resolved. Responding to this presser, some residents of Freetown discloses the challenges that is currently resulting from power outrage. Well, this never is shocking news to me because it never be a constraint, especially me, because one, the facility, some of the facilities are using a lighter for use. And right now, what they like now, they now only facilitate this now just clip or something. They charge, they go charge. And for this one, it don't be so. Say, just for it really affect me business, really. Just for really affect me business. For now, the lights help a lot. Most of like me, me uncle, we get pharmacy. 
without light, you need it for 100 percent because you get some merits in the way. You need for the other some temperature, you understand, some cooling system. But now, when the light are on and off, some day, even for sleep with time, like I mean, on my phone, my phone all day off. Now, I don't want to go to my party and that me good charge. I did it in light song, I don't care so back when I'm fixing it. Come, it's light, there is no light, so that affects me so much. Ah, it affects me all as I say, you know, say God save, save, save. You understand, in Genesis, he talked that let there be light and there is light. Light in a life, just like our turn alive. So it affects me all. But if at the end of the day, after this exercise, we all go get light, regular light, eh, then I mean, na, na, na sacrifice we all for make. Because you know the change no more without, you understand, you know, suffer small. And the, you see the least what we see from outside and say, the day I work on them, and very soon, then go give you light. The press release for us stated that. The authority and other stakeholders are using all resources to resolve the issue. Once addressed, more power will be made available for supply and distribution to its valuable customers in Freetown. They therefore apologize to residents of Freetown for the inconvenience this situation might cause and promise to resolve the problem as soon as possible. Issa Bangura, AYV News, Freetown. In the ongoing court martial trial at High Court No. 2 in Freetown, 32nd prosecution witness, Staff Sergeant Mani Atonkoa has testified before the judge advocate, Magistrate Mark Geba, that on 26th November 2023, himself and another soldier, Sergeant Kooma, were placed on the gunpoint at Cockrell and he was asked to drive them to ordinance. The witness also told the court he came to Koita during a discussion with Colonel Johnson for him to provide the keys to Amaridan at Wilbur Force. Our court reporter Sheku Mohamed Sila has more on the story. The witness, Safair, said he recalled that he was in a vehicle with Lieutenant Colonel Johnson when they left Wilbur Force to Cockrell. He said while he was in the vehicle with Lieutenant Colonel Johnson and Sergeant Mark, who was sitting in the front seat, who had a weapon with him, they were attacked by one of the attackers who forcefully wanted to take the weapon Sergeant Mark was holding. He further said they were placed under gunshot after they have identified themselves. One of the attackers said it is important not to kill them as they were struggling for a driver. Now they had one. Now it's a general. Now it's a general. But at that position, I'm not a non-person. Because I don't fall. Now everyone asks questions. He said, after coming, that's the answer. He said, use the block, that's the answer for me. That tells me that I'm posting way, I'm posting when I need it to train 1999. Because that now will be slaughtered and aid for me. But that faithful money, 26 November, I'm not starting to know it. Why? Because they were all mass. So I think about two or three. Of the RPG box there, we are not I can't get it. They are put on the back of the first master. So I need to answer the issue. I see it. Now, when I see the person, you put the dress inside the military uniform. When I repeat, now when I see left hand from the Sandy, when I listen, now left hand from the Sandy. He affirms that while he was standing at the back of Quita, one of the attackers came closer to him and pointed his gun at his feet, trying to shoot him. But he quickly removed his feet and the bullet hit the ground. Then he fired as he as one foot is a drug to the foot. The position of the foot. Now let me do the time and run. That can tell you when we cannot see a Quita. He also said that during his time when he was with the attackers, his phone did not ring. But later when they left, one of his colleagues, Sergeant Clay, called him to ask about his whereabouts. I said the information to me I said it's like the guys in the camp attack audience. Shikumo, Ahmed Sireh, AYV News, Freetown. 
Now, the winner of the AYV Miss University 2023 pageant will take home a brand new Suzuki Swift car worth over 14,000 United States dollars and will represent Sierra Leone at the Miss University Africa. This was according to the organizers, the Africa Young Voices AYV Media Empire, who today commenced an official tour of universities in Freetown with an aim to hype the contestants with their campuses and launch their campaign banners and flyers. Our reporter, Fabian Simbo, was at the ceremony. Shana reports. Aiming to achieve a very transparent pageant, organizers of the AYV Miss University pageantry makes a publicity to universities in the central part of the country. Representing the Farabe College, contestant Fatma Takamara speaks to her supporters. Sierra Leone and Ilo FBC. My name is Fatima Kamara, a third year student from the Faculty of Communication, Media and Information Studies. For me, this is not just about me. This is about bringing the dignity of this great Fulabe College. I believe that with you guys by my side, I'll be able to bring this crown home. Our lost glory will be retained. There's no doubt about it. So come all in numbers because this is FBC. This is the great of all the greatest. At the Institute of Public Administration and Management, contestants Raymonda Yema Brown and Matilda Kamara have this to say. My name is Raymonda Yema Brown from the Institute of Public Administration and Management. So today I'm here to ask for you to come support me on the 26th for the AYV News Miss University and expect nothing but the best. Hello, I'm Matilda Kamara, a representative of the Institute of Public Administration and Management, pursuing my bachelor's degree in procurement, logistics and supply chain management. Asking every student of the Institute of Public Administration to support me and I'm giving them the assurance that I'm going to carry the crown. So At the College of Medicine and Allied Health Science, contestants Amzatu Kadiatu Conte and Shinatu Aisatu Bangura speaks to their supporters. Colleagues of the same academic struggle at the College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences, I want you all to please give me your support because I am your Miss Commerce, the one and holy queen who will portray the good things and the good impact that the university has impacted in us on the 26th of April 2024. Shakna Twaisita Bangura is my name. So come on that day, support me for AYV Miss University, watch me win the crown and watch me embody this with great. The AYV Miss University.